Hello there, you do <coughs> YouTubers. Well, I got some more, more splitting to do, and if you think you're tired of watching me split, I'm tired of splitting. <laughs> but the weather's right, the time of the season's right, and you got to get your wood in so it can sit all summer and be ready for the winter. A lot of this is ready to go. You see the unconventional stacking it up so I get more in there. So this gets a gets a solid third of a cord in there. In my mind, anyway. These uh, are getting big enough now that I, I'm running out of smalls to put up top. So it'll probably just be lower lower things till I get more of that pile. I'm, I'm whittling it down. We'll, we'll flip it around. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, I'm glad you came back. So I still got, I don't know, three or four hundred cords there, I guess. You know, I wouldn't tell you. A spoof oh I moved I've been mowing most of the day move the white truck down it still needs to go to the shop and get fixed it only starts if you jump it right at the starter anyhow uh, another thing I was mowing today ran across this <clears throat> I ran over it with a mower it was a 10 point uh, I guess you can count this one it's about an inch and a half long so one two three cut that one off four five so it's half a 10 point then Farmers hate these things because they always lay like this and they run over them, get their tire in them. I've, they're just real bad for tires. I got one stuck in one of my tires one time here. So just something, something I found, kind of neat to see. Anyhow, oh, I know, I, you know, I'm so daggone senile. <clears throat> uh, more splitting, more splitting, more splitting. I still got more splitting to do. Anyhow, we're going to take a break from splitting because um, right after I split this pile of wood, um, I got to finish packing. We got a, uh, I guess a steam show or a, it's, it's one of the first old motor, uh, what do you call it? I guess it's kind of like a steam and gas show. There'll be a few engines, a thing for kids, some kind of spring roundup down at Buzzard Farm on Muncaster Road in Durwood, Maryland. If anybody's around, go down there. I'll be sawing and a couple other people will be sawing. Or I, I usually am the off bearer. I'll be the Eddie, Eddie down there. I've got a mouthful of candy too. Can't talk when I don't have a mouthful. Now i got a mouthful making it even worse. Anyhow, I will be down there. The sawmill will be a double lot, which is what's what I have in the back that you see me running. I hope to get a couple good videos each day so we can get out of the get out of the wood splitting for a little bit get get a break on the wood splitting and I know I'm forgetting some other stuff but I don't remember what I forgot so let's get this cut up chopped up made smaller we'll start now what is it uh, three minutes into the movie so if you want to see me saw uh, you want to see the sawmill going if you can't make it there <clears throat> I'll have sawmill video tomorrow night. If everything goes good, I'm going to charge my battery in the camera. And hopefully we'll be ready.
stack this stuff. I don't like uh, getting too far ahead. Like I said before, that these racks here are, uh, can't find a little spot for the thing. I got to uh, restack it. I just put the stuff in front, and I don't want to have to restack it more than two million times. But that's one thing I, I, I've said it before. That these racks here just aren't my favorite racks that I've made, but they they work good and they hold 80% uh, of a cord. So that works pretty good. I got to climb in here, but it's too far to reach in a lot of times. So to get started, because the wood, I can't just drop it that far. It has a tendency to bounce. So if I get the uh, first layer in here, then I should be all right. Um, sometimes I do it this way. Sometimes I just throw it in there. It's, it's just whatever happens, happens. But one thing I forgot to tell you guys about, I am planning a road trip. Um, the uh, road trip I'm planning on doing this year, because I, I don't really take a vacation or go anywhere, just not into that a whole lot, but I'm planning on going out to the Paul Bunyan show. And I hope everybody, a few people can at least make it there. I'd like to see everybody that's on the channel make it there, but that's uh, kind of crazy of thinking that's going to happen. But I have a space out there. I uh, rented a space out there for a meet and greet. And some of the things that I'm going to do, if you bring a turtle up, we'll give you a name tag for your turtle. I'm going to take the name tag maker up there. And we're going to have, it's just going to be a sit down. I'm not, even though that place is a trade show, um, it's just a meet and greet for anybody who wants to come, come down and have a sit down and chat. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for doing. I'm not uh, just going out there to have a good, good time and meet people. That's that's really all uh, all the real plan is. I'm not uh, which it took a little it took a little finagling because that's a trade show they got out there and they didn't really want to do that and said they'd never never done that before. Um, but I got them, I guess they had a place they could squeak me in and make a few extra bucks or maybe somebody didn't show up. Because I just, I just set the check in today, but you have to get an insurance policy and do all sorts of stuff. You have to have quite a bit, quite a bit of insurance, but I'm sure that's just the, um, their, their regulations, not, you know, most people up there are going to be having big wood splitters and stuff like that, so... I can kind of understand that, um, but I'm not, but you still had to have the insurance policy. So I got the insurance policy for it. You have to send them a certificate, which is, that's all right. That's, that's uh, not a thing. So if you get with, um, I'm going to try to get this film on before uh, Dan at Back 40 gets on there. I heard he was trying to do that. Um, Sometimes I talk to him on the phone. I haven't talked to him in a couple weeks. I'll have to call him and tell him that I got this thing. Oh, that one's too big for there. They're too small. I have to tell him that I got, got that lined up. It's all it is is a place that everybody can just come well. Is this guy here? Is that guy there? I, I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know uh, too much about it. I'm going to... We're going to take out a bunch of coolers with water and some chairs and some tables and everybody can sit down and just take a break from the show. I'm hoping at uh, that place. All right, now we're going to get, I told you about the Paul Bunyan show, got a place rented for there, sent in the check. Hope to see you there. Uh, if you get on the uh, live stream with Back 40 tonight, um, you can tell him, I'll have, to, I'll have to give him a call, let him know what's going on. There's a a light stream coming through there I guess see it go on and off that's kind of weird oh it's probably light coming through the trees sun's going down so oh these things are just a little bit too big but if I quarter them before I put them up here half of them they don't roll so it's actually pretty easier easier this way this wedge is 14 inches tall so that'll give you an idea how big these are in my youth you pick up a 24, 
24 inch piece of oak really wasn't too much of a problem. It's a problem now, can't do it. But I can roll them like this. So I got four more in there, five. I got four, five more to split. Shouldn't take too long if I don't run out of gas.
much time we got. That didn't take too long. I didn't think it would. A lot of jabber in this movie though, which jabber's good. It lets you know what's going on. We got 26. Um, a lot of those pieces, um, I don't know if I'll be in this. A lot of those pieces you see, I cut our, our kind of long as opposed to square and stuff like that. The longer ones dry faster. Um, or, or the skinnier, tall ones. Um, I, I guess this, I don't know. They just dry faster, that's all I can tell you. More surface area, thinner. Same amount of wood if there's twice as long as it is tall. Same amount of wood. Um, so it's, I'm not making little pieces. Um, another thing, somebody was asking why don't I put a uh, four-way wedge on there. If you're new here, you understand that I don't really care for them. Um, because uh, it's all right if you're going all through. If it's just going through, but if it goes on the ground, then you're going to have to pick it back up, which I don't want to have to pick it back up. I don't consider this moving around this kind of picking it up. I'm talking about on the ground up to here. Um, but, you know, if you're going to a conveyor or something like that, that's, that's good. How do you like the hat? Um, anyhow, that's about it. I'm going to go put this on, talk to Dan about getting a place at uh, Bunyan Show. I'm glad you stopped by. That's what we got in that little bit of time. Which that isn't bad. Oh, the space in between. Okay, I'll stack stack them up like a chimney that way. And the you know, I do a lot of wood drying and weighing and wood drying and stuff like that. If the wood stands up, it dries even faster. So the uh, wood inside there I'll stack up because it's not going to get as much moisture. I think it's because the air can just flow by it like a chimney effect or create its own draft or something like that. But it does dry faster if you stand it up. So anyhow, that's it for this one. I'm glad you stopped by. We're going to dump it on and then I'm going to go get ready for the rest, get the rest of the stuff ready for the show. And tomorrow night, if everything works right, we're going to have some sawmill video. So thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for sawmill video tomorrow, and we'll see you later. Thank you now. Bye-bye.